People who develop cancer today have a much greater chance of being cured of their disease and much less chance of ever dying of their disease. The treatments have side effects, and some of these side effects are permanent and serious. They're also very expensive. So wouldn't it be better if we could identify those who are at highest risk of developing a cancer and then give them a treatment or a lifestyle intervention to prevent it in the first place? Well, a clinical trial today is the standard treatment of tomorrow. We wouldn't have any of the treatments that we have today for heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, kidney disease, diabetes, if somebody hadn't gone into a clinical trial. I feel very strongly um, for prevention of breast cancer. I do have a uh, family history of breast cancer. I've known several people um, who have had breast cancer. So whatever I can do to um, further research, I feel like I, it is my calling to do so. Over the last five to 10 years, many prevention researchers, and we belong to that group, have been looking for treatments that cause less subjective side effects uh, and those that uh, could be done by average risk women as well as higher risk women. An example of that kind of clinical trial would be the flaxseed lignin trial that working, we're working on right now. Uh, we actually started working on this concept about four years ago. We ran a pilot study and we found that the active ingredient in flaxseed seemed to reduce the rate of proliferation or growth in breast tissue and also reduced the number of women who had atypical or precancerous changes in their breast tissue. Based upon that observation, uh, we wrote a very large grant to the Komen for the Cure Foundation, and we were awarded this grant called the uh, Promise Grant. Last year, there were two awarded nationally. Uh, these grants were actually awarded to teams uh, who were trying to advance the science of breast cancer prevention. And this will be a clinical trial not only at our institution, but at seven other universities and cancer center. And it will be a randomized trial for 12 months of this flaxseed lignin versus placebo. And we've just started that trial. Research has shown that the um, taking a high level of flaxseed uh, is helpful in stopping the proliferation of cells, of turnover of cells, um, which is helpful in cancer research. Um, so I started taking that about two months ago, and I have had no side effects, um, and it's a natural, uh, natural seed. So I'm really hopeful that that would be something that would be coming along the future for preventative care, not only for breast cancer, but for other cancers in the future as well. It's not something that you need to have been diagnosed for to participate. It's preventative care, and preventative care is the future of our health. There are not that many individuals in the United States looking at translational prevention trials. In other words, taking an idea uh, and then seeing what happens in breast tissue or in the tissue of interest. There's really very few of us in the United States. And we've done that particularly well as we've combined the clinical services that women want, risk assessment services, surveillance services, with the possibility of uh, participation in prevention trials. And that's the great thing about clinical trials, is that you are really under such medical scrutiny um, with your health. And you know, it's really such a proactive stance to take. Instead of being fearful, hiding, putting, burying your head in the sand about, you know, could I have it, or what can I do, or what can I not do, um, I don't want to know if I have it. Get into a clinical trial, get into a clinical study, partner with your doctor, you know, and really go for it as far as getting knowledge, educate yourself, um, be, a, be a good patient and be good to yourself.